Donald is cruel, Trump's sister Marianne is secretly recorded by his niece Mary saying you can't trust him and talking about how he had a friend take his exams to get into college Marianne Trump Barry, 83, slammed the president in secret recordings, obtained by the Washington Post she made the shocking comments back in 2018 and 2019 to estranged niece Mary Trump who secretly recorded the conversation with her aunt Mary and blasted her brother for his phoniness and called him cruel over his controversial migrant policies where children were pulled from families Mary Ann said he is lying in the White House and has no principles she also dismissed Trump's intelligence saying he doesn't read and cited some of his only accomplishments. His five of bankruptcies she also doubled down on claims made in Mary's book that the president paid someone to take his SATs and named Joe Shapiro as the person doing this Mary Ann branded Trump a brat, said she did his homework for him and drove him around New York City to try to get him into college in another call. Mary Ann said her brother was shocked she didn't watch Fox by Rachel Sharp for DailyMail.com published, 147 BST, the 23rd of August 2020, updated, for 24 BST, the 23rd of August 2020 Donald Trump's sister said her brother has no principles, you can't trust him and he has been lying throughout his presidency, according to secret audio recorded by the president's niece. Mary Ann Trump Barry, 83, slammed the president for his phoniness and called him cruel over his controversial migrant policies where thousands of children were separated from their families and held in detention centers. It's the phoniness of it all. It's the phoniness and this cruelty. Donald is cruel, she is heard saying in the recordings, obtained by the Washington Post. The president's older sister also dismissed Trump's intelligence saying he doesn't read and cited some of his only accomplishments his five bankruptcies apostrophe. One of the most telling revelations in the leaked recordings is the confirmation that Marianne was the source of claims made in Mary Trump's explosive memoir that the president paid someone to take his SATs. In the shock recording, Marianne says she did his homework for him and drove him around New York City to try to get him into college before she named Joe Shapiro as the man who took his exams. Mary Ann Trump Barry, 83, slammed the president for his phoniness and called him cruel over his controversial migrant policies where thousands of children were separated from their families and held in detention centers. Trump, Melania and Mary Ann in 2005 in New York Robert, Elizabeth, Freddie, Donald and the Mary Ann left to right. Marianne said her brother has no principles, you can't trust him and he has been lying throughout his presidency, according to secret audio recorded by the president's niece Donald Trump, Marianne Trump, and Robert Trump in 1990. One of the most telling revelations is the confirmation that Marianne was the source of claims made in Mary Trump's explosive memoir that the president paid someone to take his sats. Marianne made the shocking comments in phone calls back in 2018 and 2019 with estranged niece Mary, who secretly recorded the conversations and has since parted ways with the Trump clan following the release of her Spill All book. The release of the scathing audio from one of Trump's nearest and dearest comes at a critical time for the president in their wrap to the November election, when his response to the coronavirus pandemic and ongoing civil rights movement have pushed many voters to question his competence. It casts alarming doubts of his own family's confidence in his capabilities as leader of the United States, particularly given that Marianne, and none of the rest of the Trump siblings, has never publicly criticized her younger brother or any of his White House policies before now. Their release also comes one day after Trump held a funeral service at the White House for his and Marianne's brother Robert who died last week aged 71, a service Marianne appeared to be absent from. Trump hit back at the recordings Saturday night in a rambling statement to Axios where he said he misses Robert and congratulated himself over his results as president. Every day it's something else, who cares? I miss my brother, and I'll continue to work hard for the American people, said Trump. Not everyone agrees, but the results are obvious. Our country will soon be stronger than ever before. Mary Trump released the never-before-seen and heard transcripts and audio excerpts to the Post, revealing they came from 15 hours of secretly recorded conversations with her aunt back in 2018 and 2019. 
Marianne made the shocking comments back in 2018 to estranged niece Mary Drum, pictured, who secretly recorded the conversation with her aunt and has since parted ways with the Trump clan following her spill all book in one of the audio clips. Marianne accuses her brother of having no principles and simply making political moves to appeal to his base. The conversation came after the president said in a May 2018 interview with Fox News that maybe I'll have to put her at the border about his sister who was working as a federal judge at the time, reported the Post. At the time, Trump was enforcing heavy-handed tactics at the U.S. border, with migrant children being torn from their parents and placed in confinement. All he wants to do is appeal to his base, Marianne tells her niece in the recorded phone call. He has no principles, none none. And his base, I mean my god, if you were a religious person, you want to help people. Not do this. Though she has not spoken out about Trump's immigration policies to date, there was a marked difference in her own approach to refugees when working as a judge. For example, in one case, Marianne hit out at another judge over their treatment of an asylum applicant. Marianne went on to slam her brother's actions as president, singling out his lying and his avid use of social media. His goddamn tweet and lying, oh my god, she says. I'm talking too freely, but you know. The change of stories. The lack of preparation. The lying. Holy shit Marianne voices disapproval for what they're doing with kids at the border and says she assumes her brother hasn't read my immigration opinions in court cases. She then makes a dig at her brother's intelligence saying he doesn't read. What has he read? Mary asks in the recording, to which Marianne replies, no, he doesn't read. In a separate conversation, Marianne is also heard mocking her brother's lack of interest in reading, along with his reliance on Fox News and apparent confusion over what she does with her time if she is not watching the channel. She recalls in the call with Mary that her brother kept asking if she watched Fox, which Trump has a strong relationship with, to which she replied she didn't. When she told him she doesn't watch much television at all, Marianne says her brother was shocked asking, what do you do? She tells Mary she told him she read, to which he had further questions. What do you read? The president said. Books, Marianne says she replied, to which Trump asked again, you don't watch Fox. Robert Trump and his then wife blamed Trump, Donald Trump, their mother Mary Trump, further Fred Trump and the Marianne Trump Barry, left to write, in 1990 Donald and Marianne Trump together in 2008. Marianne blasted her brother for his phoniness and called him cruel over his controversial migrant policies. The audios also add weight to claims made by Mary in her tell all memoir Too Much and Never Enough, how my family created the world's most dangerous man that Trump paid someone to take his SATs. Mary alleges in the book that her uncle paid a friend named Joe Shapiro to take his SATs for him so he could attend the University of Pennsylvania's famous Wharton School of Business. She has until now refused used to reveal the source of this key piece of information, despite being asked if the information came from Marianne, saying only that it was somebody who would have absolutely no reason to make it up. Apostrophe. But the recordings reveal Marianne confided in her about this event in a conversation on November 1, 2018. In the conversation, Marianne describes her brother as a brat and says she did his homework for him before someone else took his exams to get him into college. He was a brat, she tells Marianne. I did his homework for him. I drove him around New York City to try to get him into college. He went to Fordham for one year, this was actually two years, and then he got into University of Pennsylvania because he had somebody take the exams. Marianne is heard questioning this information, saying, No way. He had somebody take his entrance exams? Marianne reinforces the claims, SATs or whatever. That's what I believe. I even remember the name, she says, before revealing their identity as Joe Shapiro. Ex tennis star Pam Shriver, the widow of Trump's friend Joe Shapiro from Penn, said last week her husband never met the future president until they were at business school together, saying this means he couldn't have taken Trump's sats. Trump has boasted in the past he got into Wharton because he is a super genius. Apostrophe. However, an admissions official last year claimed Trump's father had connections at the school and asked them to grant him an interview. 
Marianne meanwhile chose a life away from the family business, earning an undergraduate degree from Mount Holyoke College, a master's from Columbia University and a law degree from Hofstra University. She then went on to become one of only two women out of 62 lawyers in the office of the United States Attorney in New Jersey. Marianne, Center, at Trump's inauguration parade in January 2017. Marianne also dismissed Trump's intelligence in one of the recorded conversations saying he doesn't read and said he did accomplish his five bankruptcies, all by himself left to write Elizabeth Trump, Grau, her husband Jim Grau, Marianne Trump Barry, Donald Trump, Lisa Desmond, her son Robert, David Desmond, Donald Trump Jr., wife Vanessa Kay, Hayden Trump, Eric Trump, and Larry Unesca. Marianne doubled down on claims the president paid someone to take his sats but despite her claims she helped Trump get into college, her brother tried to take credit for her federal judgeship, Marianne tells Mary in another call. In the call, Marianne recounts to Mary how she asked her brother if his attorney Roy Cohen could put her name forward to then-president Ronald Reagan to make her a federal judge. He had Roy Cohen call Reagan about needing to appoint a woman as a federal judge in New Jersey because Reagan's running for re-election, and he was desperate for the female vote, she recalls. I had the nomination, she says, adding that Trump repeatedly brought up his involvement. He once tried to take credit for me, she says. Where would you be without me? She tells Mary her brother told her. Marianne says it created a deep rift between the pair, culminating in her threatening to level him. You say that one more time and I will level you, she says she told him. It was the only favor I ever asked for in my whole life, she says, adding that she got the role on my own merit apostrophe. By contrast, she blasted that her brother's achievements on his own merits were five bankruptcies. Donald is out for Donald, period, she says. When Mary asks what Barry has accomplished on his own, Marianne replies, well he has five bankruptcies. Good point. He did accomplish those all by himself, Mary replies. Yes, he did. Yes, he did, you can't trust him, Marianne adds. Several of the taped conversations reveal there is no love lost between the two siblings, including one where she admits Trump didn't talk to me for two years because of a disagreement over their dad's will. She also slams her brother for using their father Fred Trump Sr.'s 1999 funeral as a platform to talk about his own achievements rather than the life of their dad. Donald was the only one who didn't speak about dad, Marianne says. I don't want any of my siblings to speak at my funeral, and that's all about Donald and what he did at dad's funeral. I don't know. It was all about him. The recordings appear to reveal the source of some of the claims made in Mary Trump's memoir, which was released last month despite repeated attempts from the White House and the Trump family to block it. Chris Bastardi, a spokesman for Mary, said she started taping her conversations with her aunt in 2018 after she said she discovered her family conned her out of her full inheritance. Under New York law, it is legal to tape a conversation as long as one party has given their consent. In this case, Mary gave consent to the recording. It is not clear if she taped calls with any other members of the Trump family. Read more. Let's block ads. Why? Show your love for him. Click the link in description. Thanks for watching.